Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you're new to my channel, I'm Akanksha. So, you read the title already. We are going to do my top five sunscreens today. Um, I really wish I could give you more options, but you guys have been on my skin journey. You can see sometimes it's so flared up, sometimes it's good. So, it, it is really difficult for me to like try a product out because if something triggers i have to like put everything off and then you know get it back so i don't know what is triggering what there's so many trigger factors for my skin so but these sunscreens i've tested out for months together and i trust them and i use them on an everyday basis everything is almost like a second package and i really like them so yeah it is summer and i thought you would love to you know get some sunscreen recommendations like irrespective of summer you have to wear it always wear your sunscreens but these ones are my favorite ones so let's get started So before I start showing you the sunscreens, I want to let you know that I'm into mineral sunscreens. Hence, it's so much more difficult to find the perfect one because usually most of them leave an extreme white cast. Like you can see a really great tint to your skin, which is not really amusing to look at so i've tried a lot and found ones which i genuinely like and genuinely accept with my skin now there's a, always a debate between chemical and mineral uh, sunscreen or basically organic and mineral sunscreen and uh, but for my skin i've tried chemical or organic ones and they just don't suit my skin especially the organic filters like oxybenzone avobenzone octoline ethyl methoxycinamide so all these most popular uv filters do not work with my skin i break out so badly whenever i wear such sunscreens so if you don't know the difference between the mineral and chemical this is it those are the chemical or organic filters i mentioned and mineral ones are usually zinc oxide and titanium dioxide oxide zinc and titanium usually just leave a very bad white cast unless formulated correctly so i've shifted to mineral and they work perfectly well for me so that's what i used the first one i like and it's one of my most favorite mineral sunscreens i've ever come across is the z block zinc oxide spf 50 pa plus 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 it is one of the best mineral sunscreens i've tried like i said mineral ones do leave a white cast but this one does as like the least amount of mineral can do this does that it does little to none i use like a good amount i massage it into the skin you can see on the screen it does leave a little but very very minute honestly you cannot tell the difference this one contains 25 percent uh zinc oxide it protects against uva and uvb like all sunscreens must it retails for 799 for 50 ml of product and i really like this one this is almost my third package if i'm not wrong and i like it's mattifying it does not clog your pores it does not make you shiny it does not make you greasy so this one really love it so you can find this one on amazon i will leave all the links to the products in the description you can definitely use the links to purchase i do get a little bit of commission you you can buy it even without using the links but i will definitely link it and the next one another one i love and found on amazon only i was on a hunch uh, to find mineral sunscreens which work but don't leave a white cast or don't make me look so dry and dead so another such sunscreen i came across is this bliss skin 3d mattifying sunscreen again it's a mineral sunscreen works beautifully with my skin only one thing about this is um, that it balls up very quickly so you have to like instantly massage it into your skin and I really like this one because it does not leave a white cast but I have to be like so fast with it or else it starts bunching up and then you can you know feel that uh, little gr granules on your face but once it's absorbed into the skin it stays so that is the only thing with this one but it once it's blended into the skin it works beautifully again does not make me break out gives me protection it is spf 50 it is pa plus 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 it's non comedogenic this retails for rupees 799 and you get 50 ml of product so just make sure you like massage it into your skin really quickly and it will stay through it so it's uva uvb non comedogenic water resistant everything you need in a sunscreen and that is the second one then next one is kind of a popular one is the Requel Zinc Sure Zinc Tinted Sunscreen. It's again SPF 50, PA++++, 100% mineral one and this retails for rupees 
How much is this? This retails for rupees seven nine five for uh, uh, fifty grams of product. All of them same quantity and same price almost. This one is again non comedogenic for all skin types. So this one basically, if you want like no white cast at all, this will be your friend. So it's basically like it has color in it. So once it blended into the skin, you will not. be able to see it much but if you use like a wipe and just like wipe it off your skin you can see that there's like kind of a tint there if your deeper skin tone this is the best like medium deep this will work so so well for you again does not make me break out does not make me greasy does not make me oily it's very lightweight you will not feel like you're wearing anything on your skin all the, all the found, all the foundations I'm so used to saying foundations all the sunscreens here do an amazing job and i honestly really like them then the next one now this one is not really like just a mineral sunscreen it's it's a club of mineral and the chemical or organic cons uh, concealer see i'm just into makeup filters mineral and chemical filters but the chemical filters which are used in this one are not the regular ones or the most popular ones which have like that fda approval it's not uh, avobenzone or oxybenzone octrelin not the ones that one so k beauty or like korean beauty or you know even like right now our indian brand which is earth rhythm has introduced like chemical filters which are not as harsh as what uh, you know the ones which we originally always had are though these are chemical they're quite gentle on my skin and they do not make me uh, break out so this is the one i found and this is a new favorite actually all of them i've been using for years now and this one i been using for like one and a half two months and constantly just using this and i really like it i love how it makes my skin nice and um, a little Uh, what do you say alive as well because mineral ones are usually very mattified once i apply like the sunscreen my face is so matte it has it looks like it has no life but this one kind of mixed together gives me a nice healthy glow to the skin so this one is basically first i forgot to tell you the name of the uh, oh my god sunscreen is the earth rhythm micro encapsulated hybrid skin fluid in spf 30 is again pa plus 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 uva and uvb protection it retails for for rupees 675 for 50 ml of a product again love this one does not make me a uh, breakout protects my skin it gives a nice glow to the skin as well which i really like extremely lightweight yet absorbed into the skin really really uh, well and i really like that you know earth rhythm is kind of very sustainable as a brand as well like this one is a sugarcane derived bioplastic so it kind of is degradable as well so they're very mindful with the products and the lot of products i love from earth rhythm their aloe vera gel for example one of their face wash i really love their products their serums as well and one of the ones which i gen never tried i don't know for some reason is the sunscreen and once i tried i fell in love and i absolutely love this one then the next one and the last one i love is the la shield fisco matte sunscreen gel spf 50 pa++ 50 grams of a product i really love that one as well and it was one of the first ones uh, like first mineral sunscreens which worked out for me without giving me like an extreme white cast i've used it for a very long time i don't have it at this moment to show it to you how it looks because it got over recently and i have so many things to go through so i did not repurchase it but, but it's one of the best ones a lot of doctors recommend it as uh, uh, well so yeah that's about it those are the five sunscreens i absolutely love and use on a regular uh, basis i hope it is useful again all the links of the products will be in the description box i have a code with requel i think which will i'll leave it right here you can use it if you're purchasing so yeah guys those are my top five sunscreens now go ahead and buy sunscreen and wear it and now you don't have a reason that i don't know any nice sunscreens to wear when somebody ask you why you're not wearing a sunscreen so go ahead purchase them all the links will be in the description i think i have a code with requel i will leave it here if you want to use it and this video shout out goes to mega baga thank you mega for always loving and supporting it absolutely means the world to me if you want to be part of next video shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag aks and you can be a part uh, i hope it was useful full make sure like share subscribe to my channel let me know if you want to see more such videos and like top 5 of different categories let me know what categories and i will see you in my next video bye